Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reacting to military comparison USA vs Canada. Who would win? Who do you think would win? I think USA because man, I don't think anybody can come close to the American military power. But yeah, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy the content, comment on what you see next and subscribe for more content. I may be surprised though, maybe Canada has some secrets that I don't know about. For millions of years, the northern half of North America has remained bonded together when other present continents were busy breaking off from the supercontinents of the past. Trade routes ran through both countries throughout the centuries, and still today, the US and Canada, in terms of imports and exports, are heavily reliant okay. on each other. Economic ties, the European influence, democratic governance, to some extent an intermingling of religion and culture, and of course, English as the dominant language, make the two nations part of the same family. Nonetheless, as most Canadians and Americans will tell you, the two countries are also very different in many ways. Mm -hmm. One big difference is how the nations have developed in terms of defense. Today, we thought we'd compare them militarily. In this episode of the Infographic Show, the USA versus Canada. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so that you can be part of our notification mm -hmm. squad. The United States of America declared its independence from Great Britain on July 4, 1776. Canada became a self-governing country on July 1st, 1867, but it wasn't... I mean, just one thing. You can say that both, both USA and Canada are children of the British Empire. So in a way, they are siblings until the Canada Act of 1982 that the British ceased to have any influence on the Canadian Constitution. Way too long. These two bordering nations each have a massive landmass, with Canada being the second biggest nation on Earth behind Russia. Canada's 3,855,100 square mile landmass, however, is not too much larger than fourth place USA. America's landmass is 3,705,407 square miles, and of course, China is the world's third largest nation. Given the size of these giant nations- But even though Canada is as big as it is, most of the land cannot be inhabited because it's too cold. That's why I think, I, I've seen a video that says 50% uh, of Canadians live on the line because up there is too cold for anybody to live in nations, you may not be surprised to hear the Canada-US border is the longest border in the world at 5,525 miles long. Wow. While there were disputes in the past over the demarcation of land in some border areas, as borders go, the USA-Canadian divide has seen few conflicts. Mm -hmm. The only time the two countries went head-to-head -head was in 1812 when Canada, as a colony of Great Britain, became embroiled in the latter's spat over USA expansionism. Since that time, the countries have been the best of allies. In fact, the necessity of safe trading routes and an aiming relationship allowed both countries to prosper. After China, Canada is America's biggest trading partner, while for Canada, the US is its main trading it's partner. It's crazy how America and China are not the best of friends, and yet they, like, the two of them trade more than any other countries together. That's crazy, and they are still rivals, because I don't think Americans like Chinese, nor even Chinese do like Americans. But it's crazy that even though they don't like each other, they have to trade with each other. The USA has a much bigger GDP than Canada, though, as we all know. Its 18 trillion plus GDP is the biggest in the world, whereas Canada's GDP is set to lie in 10th place on the list at 1.5. From 18 trillion to 1. Point, 1. Point what? GDP is the biggest in the world, whereas Canada's GDP is set to lie in. Wow, from 18 trillion to 1.3 trillion. Wow. Canada, come on, man. 10th place on the list at $1.53 trillion. The U.S. is regarded as having the world's strongest military, and with a $611 billion defense budget, about 3.3% of the GDP, America outspends the rest of the world by a mile. Canada, a country not often exalted for its military prowess, spends around $15.5 billion on defense, which is around 1% of the GDP. This, however, will soon change. It was reported in June this year that Canada will increase military spending to $32.7 billion in the next 10 years. Canada's defense minister, Harjit Sajjan, was quoted as saying, if we are serious about Canada's role in the world, then we have to be serious about funding our military. Now let's take a look at where all the money goes. The US has a population of 325 million people, 1.3 million of whom are active military personnel, and a further 811,000 acting as reserve personnel. By comparison, the Canadian military is minuscule, with 95,000 active frontline personnel, and another 51,000 working at- Damn, man! Nine, only 95,000? Wow! Only 95,000 active frontline personnel and only 51,000 put. Damn, Canada. 
they didn't say about the population of Canada, but it has to be very small. Looking as reserves, Canada's population is just over 35 okay. million. Size does matter, and while the Canadian Army is low in numbers, its special forces are said to be some of the most skilled soldiers in the world. Mm -hmm. In terms of land equipment, the U.S. weapons cache of arms is almost unparalleled. The country has around 5,884 tanks, 41,000 armored fighting vehicles, 1,934 self-propelled guns, 1,299 towed artillery, and 1,331 multiple launch rocket systems. Canada has 80 tanks, 3,004 AFBs, zero SPGs. 161 towed artillery and zero MLRSs. This I don't think this is a fair comparison to be honest. Even though Canada is as developed as they are, I don't think that was a fair comparison. Like to compare them with the USA, I don't think that was fair to do it. Because I think even India has more I think the military uh, the, India's military is way greater than i mean it is for sure way greater than canada's military this somewhat meager arsenal however consists of mostly modern equipment canada's main battle tanks include a fleet of german-made leopard 2a4s and leopard 2a6s some of the most advanced tanks ever created canada has also just been hailed as a great innovator of military equipment for developing what's been called a terminator-like weapon According to military analysts, the Canadian Defence Research and Development Organization has created the weapon of the future in its Soldier Integrated Precision Effect System Super Gun or Smart Gun. Nonetheless, intelligent rifles might not be enough to hold back America's thousands of highly rated M1 Abrams battle tanks, a proven machine that has clocked a vast number of work hours. The USA is also spending big on developing its own super tank, the M1A2 SEP V3. The Royal Canadian Air Force is also somewhat outmatched in the skies when compared with the United States Air Force. Canada has a total of 414 military aircraft, 60 of which are fighters slash interceptors, and 64 that are fixed wing attack aircraft. The country has no attack helicopters. Its cream of the crop is its 103 strong fleet of American made multi role fighter, the McDonnell Douglas CF 18 Hornet. The Canadian government has also mulled over the purchase of the American F 35 stealth fighter, although that will come at some cost. Perhaps with the 70% increase in defense spending, Canada may have the aircraft in its sights. The USA outguns any other Air Force and is pretty much spoiled for choice in terms of inventory. The US has around 13,444 aircraft, many of which are touted as the world's best. This includes legions of F-22A Raptors, F-16 Fighting Falcons, F-15E Strike Eagles, and the notoriously expensive F-35A Lightning II. The US also has a large fleet of the McDonnell Douglas CF-18 Hornets, some of which have been converted to F-A-18E Super Hornets. Canada's naval strength is rather small in comparison to the giant of the mm -hmm. US Navy, although the Royal Royal Canadian Navy has fought many battles over the years and is currently in the process of enlarging its fleet. The RCN consists of zero aircraft carriers, 12 frigates, 12 coastal defense vessels, 4 patrol submarines, and 8 unarmed patrol training okay. vessels. The U.S. has 11 aircraft carriers, 22 cruisers, 67 destroyers, 8 frigates, 75 submarines, 0 corvettes, 9 Wait. amphibious assault ships. Wait, Canada has only 4 submarines? I feel like... Canada's power relies on their allies. I may be stating ignorance facts, but Canada is not as militarily equipped as I thought they would be. 11 mine warfare ships and 55 patrol ships. It's also developing its multi-billion dollar behemoth, the Gerald R. Ford class supercarrier. As for nuclear capabilities, Canada does not have its own nuclear weapons, although it contributes to America's military programs. Canada is also protected under NATO's nuclear umbrella. The US, on the other hand, along with Russia, owns almost half of the world's 15,000 nuclear weapons. 1,800 of these weapons are currently deployed. Super guns and weapons of mass destruction aside, these two countries share a long-lasting partnership when it comes to their defense strategies. The US and Canada are the only two countries outside of European nations that belong to NATO. Together, the two friendly neighbors have formed an alliance that combines one huge military force. This is recognized in official pacts, such as the Binational Organization, the North American Aerospace Defense Command, the Combined Defense Plan, and even the sharing of military resources in times of natural disasters under the Canada-US Civil Assistance Plan. Mm -hmm. Besides the skirmish in 1812, the two countries have enjoyed arguably the most peaceful border relationship on the planet. Canada and the US are the closest of allies, culturally intertwined, and from an economic standpoint, reliant on their buoyant trading relations. We hope you've enjoyed this tale of two brotherly nations. Do you think the bond between the US and Canada is unbreakable, or is it just a matter of time before it fizzles? Let us know in the comments. Be sure to check out our other video, China vs. Russia. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and yes. subscribe. Uh, if you guys want me to do the China vs. India, please let me know in the comments. 
Oh man, it's crazy how small Canada's military or army is compared to America. I don't think it is fair to compare America's military with anybody in the planet. And Canada is also, their military is not even as big as India's, China's, Russia's, probably not even as big as France, Germany, or even England. It's crazy. I thought Canada was way more powerful when it comes to militarily powerful than they showed in this video. But I think they enjoy more uh, security from being an ally of the USA than anything else. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like. If you did so, comment on what you see next and subscribe for more content. And until next time, peace out.